was the night before Halloween and all through the house. That's not even the right freaking holiday. I can't do anything right. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a very spooky episode of Blade Bias. Ooh, I know you guys want to see the spider knife. You think I was going to tell you about the spider knife any other day besides the spookiest day of the year? And we can totally pretend like I've been planning it this way the whole time and it didn't just kind of line up precisely perfectly. <sighs> it really is the scariest thing I will see this Halloween, isn't it? The spider knife... Ow. The spider knife has been a curse. A true curse on my collection. You can see it's actually punched through the bag that it comes in. Um, yeah, no, this thing is just cursed in every single conceivable way, except for it's flipping, but only kind of. When I said that this is the scariest thing that I will see this Halloween, I wasn't lying, unfortunately, because it's also the scariest thing that I'll feel this Halloween. Put this thing in a haunted house, and everyone would run out screaming. Ow, I pinched myself like twice. I pinched myself both when it went down like this and when it closed. That was actually incredibly impressive. So, much like the last time I talked about the spider knife, I continue to be impressed by how well it flips kind of and what i mean is it fans really well and that is pretty much about it how other than that it's the most uncomfortable sharp unflippable thing that you can possibly imagine you can't chaplain it you can't roll over it you can't really do anything with it because there's a giant spider on it and it's not so awesome it's actually um really not awesome also brandon i told you i would leave this label on and i have I have not touched the label since I got it, and I don't intend to, because I also don't intend to flip this thing that often. This is the kind of Bala song that really makes you appreciate the comfort of other Bala songs, because you finish flipping the spider knife, and the only way that I can describe it is that it feels like it does when your hand falls asleep. You know the pins and needles when you fall asleep on your hand? and you lose circulation, and you can feel it poking at you, and it's just this really uncomfortable feeling. Imagine that, not as intense, obviously, but basically the entire time after you finish flipping the spider knife, because that's what it feels like. Every single one of those little areas that these sharp little corners poke you in, you're going to be feeling for the next 15 minutes, whether you like it or not, as little fun, little pokey, feeling, ooh, it's so disgusting and gross. The one benefit is that grip is fine if you want to deal with the sharpness, which I'm afraid to aerial this thing almost at all. I'm afraid to roll over it almost at all because I know I'm just going to impale myself with a sharp corner of a spider, which isn't really cool. Um, yeah, which ultimately leads me to the, the saddest and scariest thing about the spider knife is that much like I believe I said in the last video where I unboxed this thing, or I didn't unbox it, but I showed it off for the first time, if you were to put an insane amount of work into this, you know, do what Will and Brandon did, break off the spider, if you were to sand off the handle so that it didn't stab you every time, it honestly wouldn't even be that bad. Again, I'm really only talking about fanning because I can't roll over it enough to actually tell how handle biased it is. But man... <sighs> You know, it's also almost even impressive that it flips as well as it does given how much pivot weight it no doubt has with this giant spider insignia that it has on it. It is just really truly awful in every way, and if you happen to have a cut on your finger from... Well, I mean, if you don't have a cut on your finger, then you will after flipping this thing and putting any amount of force into it. But if you have a cut from another ballast song, perhaps, prepare to feel that times three when you touch this thing because it'll be just your luck that one of those corners goes straight into that little boo-boo that you got from one of your live blades. Oh man, I hate this thing. I really, really do. It is so difficult to find any good in the spider knife. In fact, the thing that I enjoy most about the spider knife is putting down the spider knife because I flipped this thing for 
I mean, let's be real, I haven't flipped it much, I'll be completely honest, but any time that I do, I try and flip it for a few minutes at a time because you get so used to the abomination of it that you become so focused on it that you forget what everything else feels like. And given that <laughs> the last video I received one of the most premium feeling Bella songs that I've received in quite a while because it's also one of the most expensive, yeah, when you go back to any other Bala song, it just it just feels good. And you know what? Even if you don't like the Bala song, it feels good and it feels incredible to flip. This is the best the Sirius V4 has ever felt to me because I use the spider knife to compare it to. And that really is the beauty of the spider knife. If you have a Bala song, that you don't enjoy, but you're stuck with it because, you know, you can't get a collection of 60 Bala songs or whatever the frick. You can flip the spider knife for a while, go back to that Bala song that you really don't enjoy, and it's going to feel so much infinitely better than it ever has before, and it's, it's almost magical. It really is. I could pick anything out of my collection compare it to the spider knife, and I almost guarantee you I would say, yeah, this is a better flipper. Even what I would consider to be my least favorite thing in my collection, my Akuma, it's not as pleasant, but it's certainly a lot more pleasant than it was the first time that I tried it, or any other time that I try and flip it, because it doesn't stab me every five seconds. It doesn't hurt to flip. It has a balance that I can actually do tricks on, even if the balance isn't that good. It just, it, it's, it's an appreciation machine. And that's ultimately where I found the beauty of the spider knife is that it is so bad. It's so intolerable. It's so depressing, scary, perfect for a Halloween that it makes everything else feel hopeful and soft and smooth and beautiful, no matter how badly it may flip. Because I almost guarantee you, no matter how badly it may flip, it will never be as unpleasant to flip as something like this. This is truly my least favorite Bala song that I have ever touched, which is saying a lot because I really don't like one or two of the Bala songs that I have touched. But oh man, does it make... Does it make the transition back to something else so glorious and so, so beautiful. Because I can actually, I mean, I can actually do tricks. Look, I can do a rollover without it flying away or hurting me at all. It's really a beautiful thing. It really is, isn't it, Optimus Prime, who is sitting on my desk for some reason. Um, yeah. Happy Halloween. You can't be, you can't have a happy Halloween in the presence of the spider knife. Ow, my hands hurt. All right, I'm going to get going before... This thing truly enacts its sacred toll on my soul and my body. I can already feel the effects wearing in. I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. Have a safe and happy Halloween, everyone. And I will see you in the next one. Later.